when you think of God as a storyteller and you think of, of the idea of who we are as made in God's image, the idea of telling stories and narratives and so on and so forth is antithetical to the digital idea of information, information, information. Uh, if there is no God, we're just uh, atomized bits of information, and there's no meaning, there's no grand narrative. That's the Enlightenment project. That's the hyper-rationalistic, scientistic, materialistic project that says there's, there's no God, and therefore, uh, you know, we can almost become gods ourselves. And then there's this other idea, which you, you get when you talk about storytelling and what it means to be a person thinking and having wisdom. And, and it's interesting to me that that's one of the reasons uh, Randall Wallace is a great storyteller. He kind of ta he taps into that idea. He understands that idea, as you obviously do. That's a wonderful point, Eric. Um, you're right. I mean, digital technology by default is a download, right? It's, it's everything at once. And really, you look at Elon Musk and the efforts to be able to download and connect to our brain, right? Who needs the story to be told to us when we can have all aspects of it all at once? Yeah, um, that, that's a great point. Uh, with storytelling, you, are, as the storyteller, are in charge of when you release details and you're telling things one thing at a time. You don't give every detail to to the person that's listening to your story all at once. You hold back. There's a beauty to that. There's an art to that. And uh, you reveal things in time. And that is uh, a classic hallmark of God Almighty. He reveals things in time, right? All things become beautiful uh, in his time. And so you're right. It's very antithetical to today's modern technological idea where we can get it all, right? Google is getting it all at once, you know, give us give us a million results, you know, and we, we have it all in our pocket. Well, that really isn't how we're designed uh, and it's not really how God operates.